Hello, Rome Mithril here once again, getting back to a minimalist drawing of a flock of geese. And as we last left things off, we were headed to the last major sector of the game. At least in the order I've been playing them. Really, you can go through the sectors in whatever order you want, pretty much. But for now, get ready to bounce. Just like the Gravitron, as soon as you hit one of these lines, it will automatically flip your gravity. So, you just have to work with that. It can take a little getting used to, but it's actually a pretty fun gimmick. The vertical lines will also flip your gravity as you cross past them. It turns out the key to stabilizing this dimension was to create a balancing force outside of it. Though it looks like that's just a temporary solution at best. I've been working on something more permanent, but it seems it's going to be too late. Once again, I just really love the soundtrack of this game. And another trinket. But now we have to get back out of here. There's a lot of tight maneuvering there, so it can get kind of nerve-wracking. And, well, they had to reference Flipper at some point. It was inevitable, really. You can do some pretty cool moves with the setups here. Syntax error. Well, that brings back memories of basic programming. Staying up all night wondering where you missed just one bit of code in the instructions. All I wanted was for my Commodore 64 to draw a rainbow. So, free your mind. In this room, if you just go at max speed, you'll easily dodge the first obstacle. Uh, the rest not so much. This requires a bit more patience, so just take your time. Carefully, carefully. Research notes. Access to the control center is still possible through the main atmospheric filters. Oh, I've already found this. I think that's telling you about the other entrance to the yellow sector, because I want to say that entrance was talking about things like main intake, vents, things like that. So, 17 out of 20. Carefully, don't walk into the spikes, and there we go. Going down. Well, we saw the trinket up there, so we know what we're doing next. I'm helping! Good for you, Vermilion. Good for you. Eighteen out of twenty. Well, we're almost done with this part of the mission anyway. Just be careful timing yourself around these. Again, take your time. Eventually you'll desync from them. And it's only going to get worse. You have less maneuvering room here. And honestly, I'm surprised I got through that okay. You can probably see what they want us to do. There is not a lot of maneuvering room there. There we go. I just really like these areas, they're so colorful. And purest unobtainium, the 19th trinket. Huh. I didn't even notice the background is shifting colors here. Trippy. And once again, now we have to get back out. I think that's the first time I ever made it back out of that area without dying. Going down. Hi there. 
Oh no, Captain, are you stuck here too? It's okay, I'm here to rescue you. Let me explain everything. What? I didn't understand any of that. Oh, well, don't worry. Follow me, everything will be alright. Really? Okay then. And there we go. Level complete. You've rescued a crew member. All crew members rescued. Welcome back. Um, where's Captain Viridian? Uh-oh. Hello? Is anyone there? So, welcome to Temporary Fault. Once again, no signal. However, this part of the game is pretty lengthy. So, it's only been about six minutes, it's a pretty short episode. But I am going to go ahead and save here. Now, I'm not sure if it really counts the save I got at that last teleporter or not, so just in case, I am going to do a quick save here. Yay, we have everyone rescued, except ourselves. And 19 trinkets, so we're doing good. 68 deaths, so only two during that sector, I think. But with that, we will resume here next time. With that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Love the music here. And until next time, fare thee well.